Okay, so today is March 20, I want to say 23rd, 23rd, I'm leaving out of all these, okay, and as you can see, I'm suited, well, I'm masked and gloved up, they have started putting limitations on what you can buy, okay, so for canned goods, you can only get eight, eight, I used to come in here and buy cases of them, now you can only buy eight of one, whatever the same item is. Um, so I just came in, I picked up, I just wanted to pick up some more stuff because you can't never have enough. You know? So this is what my little cart looks like. While I still can get some stuff, uh, and I left my dog on water bottle at home. Anyway, while I can still get some stuff, I want to grab a few items, okay? And just get some things. I got 10 avocados. They had them on sale for 65 cents each. So I found a little article that, that you could, where you could actually freeze your avocados. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. So now that I know you can freeze avocados, I'll stock up on them when I find them on sale. Right? That only makes sense. I'll try to find y'all somewhere that y'all can sit and still be seen. Let's do that that way. All right, there we go. So I bought 10 avocados. I bought some oatmeal. Bought some grits. Okay. And then I bought some condensed milk and some evaporated milk. Just some cans, you know, just to have some more stuff. Just because my wife says I'm a hoarder and she's probably true. So that's what I'm doing right now. I was just out, I was passing the store. There wasn't too many folks in there. Folks of course were looking at me like I was crazy. And I'm looking at them like they're crazy because I'm the only person that's walking around with a mask on. And I told the girl who was checking folks out, she didn't have on nothing. I'm like, she didn't have on any gloves. I'm like, you need to be suited up like me. She kind of laughed, smiled. And then they had a, uh, a help wanted sign up. Where well, they're paying $13.50 an hour for you to sit there and risk your life. <laughs> so, um, there you have it. Leaving Aldi. All right, now you know it's getting bad when they start limiting what you can buy, okay? That means that, and it's still not bad in my area. But I can appreciate them, you know, starting to limit what people can get. And if I were, if I was the unprepared right now, what I would be doing, I would make a trip in there. I'd buy eight cans of everything. I'd go to my car and come right back in and buy eight cans until they stopped me. And then I would go to another store if I was unprepared. So if you're watching this, you're not prepared and they're limiting what you can buy, then that's one way. But I know a lot of places, there are lines, you know, going into the grocery stores. I don't have that challenge here yet. Uh, I can walk in. Nobody's limiting my access to get going in. Nobody's, you know, stopping you from buying stuff uh, or anything like that. I, uh... I, of course, have, you know, have mask, have gloves, have whatever. And if this one time, maybe have Corona, who knows? Who knows? And I was talking, I was talking to my best friend last night, and we were talking about this stuff. And he's in the medical profession. And, and he was like, man, folks been calling you crazy for years. You ain't looking so crazy now. I said, you know what, though, man? I said, I never thought I'd see, I never thought I'd see in my lifetime or in our lifetime. We talk about, you know, we talk about preps all the time. I was like, man, I never thought I'd see it in our lifetime. Cause we were around the same age. He just had a birthday. He's like a year and a half older than me. I said, man, I never thought I'd see it in a million years in my lifetime. I'd see the country like this. And uh, he's like, to be honest with you, man, me either. And he works in the medical profession. And he's like, you know, he always keeps me up the breast of, like things that are going overseas. Hey man, we got this SARS going on. Hey man, we got this going on. Hey, such and such, such going on overseas, blah, 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 blah. But when this happened, 
I was calling him. I said, hey, man, this, this COVID-19 thing, this corona, I said, bro, this thing has the potential of being very serious. And this was early on. This was back in, like, December, January time frame. He's like, yeah, man, I've been watching it, too. He's like, it's scary because then he started giving me all of the medical stuff, you know, behind it and and all that. And, you know, and, and throughout the months, he's been, you know, explaining to me certain things and um, what they're trying to do in the health profession to, to slow it down and, you know, and so far it hadn't been working. And that joke had been right about everything as far as the, the medical part. And he's like, man, he's like, man, you've been kooky and crazy all these years, prepping up and stocking up and doing this and doing that. Man, I, even I called you crazy. I like, he's like, I know your wife called you crazy. Your kids called you crazy. I said, yeah. I said, and I wish y'all was still calling me crazy. I wish this was not going on. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm laughing because it's almost like I'm watching a movie right now, and I'm the I'm the the, the head hunter. I'm the I'm the leading role. I'm the I'm the leading cast member of this movie about my life that is work that I'm that I'm watching right now. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. So um, I'm still out. I'm still you know going in and out of people's homes. Uh, our directive from our company is if you walk into somebody's house and they are sick, you know it's up to, it's up to your discretion to leave. And uh, and then report you know report it to our uh, supervisor. So you know hey it is what it is. I'm trying to do as much outside work as I can even though it's raining. If you can believe that or not. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know how crazy you think I am. Let me know you know let me know whatever whatever's on your heart. I got very thick skin. As long as you don't attack my wife and my children, you can say anything you want to say about me. I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, thank y'all so much for being here. I love you. I see you some love. And I appreciate you. And welcome, welcome back to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper if it's been a while. And welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper if this is your first time. So uh, you can, you can uh, look for more crazy videos like this, okay, uh, in the very near future. So I will catch you guys in another later date. Take care.